At first glance, it's not obvious unless you're standing right there. And even then, it takes a little bit of knowing your surroundings. The Gladiator Fire of 2012 ended up scorching just over 16,000 acres, or almost 65 square kilometers. After eight years, the vegetation has only grown back up to about waist level. This geocache was hidden here after the wildfire, but if it wasn't, we really didn't have any way of knowing whether it was affected by the fire. If I remember right, there was a cell signal here, but it was very weak and pages took a long time to load. Longer than I was willing to spend trying to figure out which wildfire was here. As it is, it took me about half an hour to narrow down which one it was here at home with blazing fast internet. Pun intended. I think somebody should build a website that can identify wildfires by selecting a location on a map. Yeah. All right, shall we go find a geocache? Yeah. Up there by the truck. It's like literally right next to the truck. <laughs> oh no. Huh? I didn't go far enough down the road. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, I was closer to it when I was looking at the rock. Arrow says keep going. Arrow says your perspective is off, buddy. Yep. Whole lot of green. I'm filming the log. <laughs> you found it. The scenery. Well, it was one of those that you had to expand your search area a little bit. 